She was never in the courtroom. Uh, as far as I know to this day that I've never seen her. I mean, you know, I've never seen the woman. I don't know who she is. No, I, I, I didn't expect Fort Grant. No, I didn't. I didn't expect that to come out of it. But, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of like a, I was in more or less like a fantasy land at the time. You know, I mean, Lord, here I am. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm, I'm in, in court being tried, and now I'm being sentenced till I'm 21 years old. I didn't know what to think. I was, looking back on it, I, I, I was really dazed about it because, you know, Lord, here I am, first time being pulled away from mom and daddy, and it, it kind of put me in shock. I was ready to just say, you know, Heck with it. They got me, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm in jail for something I didn't do. I'll tough it out and make the best of it. Well, I seen my folks later that evening at the Phoenix Juvenile Hall. I guess it was the Phoenix Juvenile Hall. Maricopa Juvenile Hall. And uh, Mom and Dad talked to me, you know, and they told me exactly what they were doing and why they were doing it and how they were going about it and that. And the first time I ever really seen my dad get big tears in his eyes and turn red as a beat, he was that mad. First time I'd ever seen him that mad. And I figured right then, I says, hey, you know, if my folks are willing to fight like that and get that worked up over it, I should too. Amelia did, she kept us informed on everything that was happening. But dad just flat told her, he more or less give her carte blanche with it. Says, hey, go with it, run with it, do what you have to do, go where you have to go, but settle it. I was in Park's Job Corps Center, crashed out on bed, where I like to be, and uh, they, uh, called me up to the superior's office. Uh, my counselor called me up to his superior's office. The, I guess you'd call him the dean of boys there. And uh, he says, uh, you just won your court case. I was going to have newspaper reporters and, and newsmen there. I says, wow. I guess this is going to, you know, why, why are they coming? They says, to interview you, because you made this big court case, and, and it, you went all the way to the Supreme Court. You know, kids, juvenile cases don't do that. I says, wow, well, guess one did. Then, there, you know, I had no rights, but now my children, the children of the community, even the children of the world, have rights. You know, they, they have rights to, to an attorney and to, to be able to question their accuser. The kids, my, whenever I was a kid, didn't have. I, f I feel that it was well worth the fight. And I think my folks do too. I really do.